Welcome to the vlog. Wait, um, restart. Welcome to the vlog. It's two in the afternoon. We just got up here in Clovis, and we're about to do our pre-race. Uh, it's for the state meet, and it's going to be thrilling. Um, we're just going to go for an easy three miles. We'll get slowly, progressively faster throughout it, and we'll do some strides after. Uh, it's not too much. We're just trying to keep it easy, but uh, stay a little snappy for the race tomorrow. It's going to be good. All right. Get some shots of everyone. Staying snappy. <laughs> snappy. Oh. Sam's yeah. always just such a jokester, isn't she? Isn't my hair cool? Yeah, Sam's really the team no. jokester. What do you guys think about the girl's hair? Is it good or bad for the, really for the good. school? <laughs> it's cool. Comment your honest I think it's cool. I think it's, cool. Cool. I think it's really good. Comment your honest opinions below of whether or not the girl's hair adds team unity or if you think it looks really it sick. It definitely does and add and team unity. And depending on what your thoughts are, maybe the guys will dye their hair going into the national. Does it add unity or dysfunction? If the guys are gonna, it's like a Function. Alright, you guys saw the pre-race, the um, the run around the course, our strides, all that, that was great. It's now, I think, just about 7 p.m. We're going to eat a really good dinner because that's important before a race. Um, we found a pretty nice restaurant in the area, uh, and then we're all dressed the same. We got the same shirt because we wanted to match and look pretty cool. I don't know, maybe it's kind of not cool, but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it looks pretty sick. Um, we're going to have a good meal because that's how you feel up for a good race. the new jacket what did we just do uh, we just we walked into the meeting and uh, walked into Sean's room to have a meeting and he gave us all these cool jackets for free I'd assume <laughs> well from someone had to pay for them but. yeah someone had to pay for them but I'd assume yeah that's it aren't they sick show them it's like a Nike yeah. running these, these are actually I think my it's, it's probably my favorite jacket so far he's given us I mean, it's the only jacket he's given us. <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, our freshman year, we got these ones, yeah. which are pretty nice, you know? They got the, the MPH XC. They're just, they're that very much so like standard uh, Nike zip up. They're actually really nice. Yeah, but this, but is, this guy is, nice is a great running it's, jacket. It's, it's a great running material. It feels so good too. It's very light. Oh, that, that's what we need. And it's nice because what I love these, honestly, I love these like top, these top varsity exclusive jackets. It's so nice. You'll see us in them tomorrow. Yes, you will.
Tell me about your race. Uh, my race was very, very fun. Um, to be honest, I didn't feel as great as I thought I was gonna feel. But I told myself the whole race. I said, Leo. I was, I was even, I was literally talking to myself. And um, I know that one thing that I really think I'm good at is holding on. So I said, I'm just gonna hold on as much as I can. I just tried to hold on the entire race. And I would think to myself, I'd say, Am I? Would I be satisfied with myself if I dropped off? And I, the, no, I wouldn't. So I had to make sure that I'd be satisfied with myself. So I gave it my all. Um, Coming towards the end of the race, it was just it was it was me, Lex, and Colin. Lex threw in a surge. I was like, wow, he's really going for it. Colin and I both matched it. We were trying to stay with him, and then I was like, you know what? I might try to do something. So I was like, okay, let me go. So I went, and I was going, and then Colin came up on me, and then he passed me, and I was like, oh my god, could I hold it with him? And then it was just, and then it was just locked up. But that was all right. I, pra I practically felt like I was gonna like crawl into the finish line, but it was pretty dope. Uh, how'd you finish your race today, bud? Uh, I felt pretty good, and then two miles, I sort of got a calf cramp. So, how did you feel in the hills? Were you guys pushing each other up the hills? Oh, I was falling behind on the hills. That's good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah you, you had a fun time today? Yeah. I had a fun time. Okay, so people are saying that the last 300 meters was like the worst part of the race. What's, what's your perspective on that? Yeah. yeah all, all the lactic last, acid in your yes. legs? Last 300 sucked. Okay. Today on the race, you know, I felt good. I had felt like I had a lot in me. My legs felt good, and I, I, I wanted to give it as as much as I could, and I think I did that. I mean, I, I led a good portion of that race, and I really just wanted to put it all out there. I mean, I finished, and I could, my vision was like, you know, like fading in and out. I could, my ears were a little bit like, like, you know, and walking around, my whole body was flushed out with like lactic acid and. I think that that's that's what you run for, really, and it, it felt good before the race, but felt like really bad after. <laughs> yeah, so how'd you guys from the hills? We guys push each other up the hills. Yeah, those hills were those hills were tough as always at Clovis, but you know we pushed, we worked together to get up them. In reality, like realistically, we probably should have uh, done grinded that second mile a little bit harder if we really wanted to go for that uh, record. But you know what? There's next year. Sadly, not for Colin, but you know what? He'll be watching us, and. Uh, it's definitely on the cards. <laughs> that's good, that's good. So, people are saying the last 200, 300 meters was the worst part of the race. What's your perspective on, perspective on that? Oh, that last 200 meters, man, I locked up. I, I think I made a move a little bit too early, so then coming in, uh, I don't know, maybe with like 300 meters to go, I think Colin and Leo uh, kicked past me, and I was just I was just trying to hold on for dear life. And my arms, my legs, my face, my feet, everything was just, <laughs> just completely just like, just, Filled with lactic acid, I could not, I could not see. I was just, it was crazy. But you know, that feels good. It hurts, but it makes you happy. You know, because yeah. you know that you earned it. And it was, that was fast. That was a really fast finish. All right, that's good. All right, it's Sunday morning. It's right about 24 hours after the race. We're gonna get in, just uh, probably an easy eight or nine miles. Just super easy because I mean I don't know like we 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 just want to make sure that we're feeling good going into next week so we're just gonna keep it super easy. Um, Lex and I were just doing this together. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, let's get that running. It's gonna be fun. Let's go. Since uh, since we just raced all out yesterday, it's not gonna be like a hard, fast run. So we'll probably like probably try an average closer to like. In between like that seven and seven ten, like minute pace. Uh, so we can really recover. Yeah, exactly. Probably start out quite slow, cause this place, beautiful Sycamore Canyon, it's a, uh, it's a little bit uphill on the way out, but like only slightly. It's not like hills. It's just like a slight incline. So then, that will automatically just kind of let it be a, a little bit slower. And coming the way back, it'll feel a little bit easier. So, you know, it'll help the natural progression of the pace. All right, 
we're about like two, two and a quarter maybe miles in. But uh, yeah, Sycamore Canyon is beautiful. And the weather today is perfect. It's like 70. maybe 70 degrees. 72. 72, not much of a breeze. I mean, a little bit, like a little ocean breeze, but it's not like windy. And the sun's out. So yeah, and it's, it's getting closer to winter. So all the colors, like the green grass is coming in. But yeah, this place is awesome. Yeah. It's probably like definitely on like the list of our favorite spots to run around here, if not on the top. So we run here a lot. All right, let's continue. We still got like maybe like seven more miles. All right, thank you guys for watching. It is now the end of the video. So if you really enjoyed it, comment down below, like, subscribe, and look forward to some more content next week.